What's up survivors, I'm Natural Born, and welcome to episode 58 of our Random Gen Let's Play. Now first and foremost, as always, I just want to say a massive thank you to everybody for all of the support on all of the videos. You guys are the real MVPs. Oh, and there goes another broken leg to start off the episode. <laughs> and if you do find yourself enjoying today's episode, then feel free to leave a like to show your support. Alright, well, to start things off, we're going to need a splint, which means we're going to need cloth. Now, the goals for today's episode is we are going to try complete the kill chamber of the base. This is where we will have all of the Pillar 50 and... Oh, it's like we got a visitor. Oh, shit. There we go. Nice way to start off. And it's where our fighting position is mainly going to be during the hordes. Alright, well, we've been chewing through the splints, so we might as well go ahead and grab some more cloth, because we're more than likely going to need it. Alright, we'll pop that up so nobody wanders in there. Hopefully we don't see a bunch of different wandering hordes today, but hey, if it happens, it happens. Alright. Well, actually, before we start the kill chamber, there is one thing that I need to do, and that is fill this entire basin with concrete. We are actually going to have to do underneath these frames too. Oh, we, we might not have to, actually. But yeah, guys, so without further ado, we're just going to kick off straight into it. Sand's pretty good because you don't seem to get the same sorts of terrain glitches that you do when you're digging out dirt like this. I'm sure everybody's experienced it at least once. You'll hit a piece of soil, it looks like the soil's there but it's actually gone. And it's due to there being no block underneath that block. So usually you have to place frames down to clear all of that up. Alright, and it should be the last piece of sand. Alright, no screamers in sight, we're looking pretty good. So the next goal is we need to fill all of this in with rebar frame and go ahead and upgrade it. Now, somebody told me to be sure not to fill in the hole where the elevator's going to go. Now, unfortunately, I'm still not 100% sure on where everything's going to go. So we are probably going to have to cover that up and dig it out at a later date. But when we dig it out, shouldn't be an issue because the whole base should be secure at that point. Alright, so we've got a thousand rebar on us. That should be plenty. We're going to need that nail gun, that's for sure. And we're going to need a lot more concrete mix than that. Alright, so we've got a nice amount of concrete mix up here. So we're going to go ahead and take all of that. Might as well just chuck the uh, cloth in there. If we need a splint, we'll run back up here and grab it. We will keep the bear on us, though, just in case. And I'll take a little bit more concrete, actually. Because there is one thing that we're going to have to do. And there's two ways we can go about this. This is when we craft Pillar 50. Now, I could go around and I could count the blocks to figure out exactly how much we're going to need. Or I could just go ahead and make 120 of them. It's probably going to be a crap ton more than we need. But it's going to enable us to be able to work on the base while they're crafting. Alright, so we've got some stragglers out and about. That's all good. Now we have the fun task of filling this entire area in with frames and then upgrading them all. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Alright, so we're only on the third row here, and we've already used over 100 rebar frame. Now, I'm hoping that uh, a thousand's enough to get this whole area filled in, because if it's not, then uh, we're definitely going to have a few issues. We will have to make our way back to the Iron Fortress at some point, and we can definitely pick up more rebar while we're there, and cement mix, because we're going to need it. Alright, out of those one thousand frames we have 33 left and this is what we managed to get everything filled in now probably take away about 10 frames for the uh, holes that we popped underneath due to the auger but yeah damn near 1000 frames just to fill this out so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna upgrade all of it and we're done 
So we this took just under 10,000 concrete mix. So I've had to go grab more from inside of the house. We now have just under 10,000 left, just about 9,200. So unfortunately, we're chewing through this concrete mix. I did tell you guys it was a big base and it would require a lot of resources. This is why we've had to do so much mining in the world. But now for the next goal, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to build the center area here. But I'd like for these corners to be curved or rounded, I should say. So we're going to go ahead and craft those. So if you come into your inventory, just chuck in round and you'll see right here, round corner, concrete corner, round. You don't want the top piece. So we're going to go 16 of these. I'm going to go ahead and craft those up. Alright, I would slowly like to start making these. I do have to be quite careful because I've got a broken leg and I'm going to have to be jumping off here quite a bit. And I'd more more or less I'd like to that I'd like for that to heal as soon as possible. 47 minutes, yeah, that ain't healing anytime soon. Alright, so we're about three blocks high. We need to be five. Four. and five and this is where the next floor is going to be so we're going to go ahead and upgrade these and oh and it broke again all right well um <laughs> shit happens eh and of course, me being me, I was like, nah, I won't need that cloth. So we left the cloth back at base. I'm going to have to grab it again and fix this bloody leg. All right, sounds like we actually have some uh, zombies at the back door. I'll go ahead. No, nope, can't drink that. That's all good. Let's go deal with them, eh? Got the front door open, so hopefully they don't come through here. Well, we've got a couple nails in here. And can I not shoot them? Uh, here we go. Oh, and I missed with both of them. Get the fuck out of here. Wasted my nails like that. I'm not even going to worry about the gore block. We just want to get that splint. Fix up this stupid league. Alright, we've got enough cloth for one more splint. So, uh... Yeah, let's just hope that we don't need that, but yeah, no guarantees, guys. This fella's just out there chilling. Right, so we have our corner concrete pieces. We're going to go ahead and we're going to place all of these in. We're going to rotate them. And we're just going to put four in each corner. Alright, next goal, we need to get some blocks up there. That's not going to work. So we're actually going to go ahead and we're going to make a couple of ladders. Let's make four metal ladders. And I'm going to upgrade these while those are crafting. Alright, so go ahead, climb up here. At least this is going to give us a way down without breaking our leg. And we're going to place these corner pieces in. Alright, so here is the middle section complete. <laughs> and there goes another broken leg. you got to be shitting me. Oh well, lucky we kept that cloth on us, eh? Wonder if we're going to get a medicine level from using so many bloody splints. Um, Alright, do I have iron on me? No, I don't. Now, I wouldn't mind putting in the spikes. But we are going to need iron for that. They will be getting upgraded to steel as well, but I didn't bring any steel with me. 
Alright, so we're going to have to make our way up here. Hopefully we have some iron. I'm not 100% sure if we do or not. Pretty sure I brought some though. And shit. Okay, no iron in there. Maybe in the drop chest. Four thousand, that's gonna have to do. And I might actually get these bandages. We're gonna scrap those and one piece of cloth. Okay, I was hoping for a little bit more than that. Uh, we're not scrapping the puffer coat, but we will go ahead and scrap those pants. And then that way, if we need to, we can craft another splint. Because, yeah, I tell you guys, at the rate we're going, we're definitely going to need a few more of them. All right, now, same same thing here. I'm just going to take an estimation and say that we need about 50 of these spikes. Should be in here somewhere. Scrap iron spike is what we're going for. And we're going to make 50 of them. Alright, perfect. And, oh no, alright, so this next part, this is going to break a few leagues as well. Because we're going to go ahead and we're going to start placing in pillar 50. Now I might go ahead and just place two at a time and walk around. I am going to have to leave one area open and that is as you guys know i can be a bit reckless sometimes hanging out on the edge of things and in creative mode when i done this i fell into this pit quite a few times so uh i actually had to knock some of the pillars out so i had an easy way to get in and out so it's probably not the smartest idea to go ahead and put the spikes in now but i figure if we do it now and we do end up with a wandering horde here, then it might just be a little bit of extra defense. And like I said as well, the goal for today's video is to get the kill chamber completed. And I might just leave that area over there open for now. And then like I said, if zombies are going to walk in there, that's all good with me. And if we happen to fall in there, then we have a way out. And already, we're just coming up to the fourth layer now, and we've almost used all of the Pillar 50 that we have. So we're actually going to have to go ahead and craft up. Can't quite remember how much we crafted. Might have been 120. We're going to craft another 120. And unfortunately, because we've uh, broken our leg so many times today, that is not going to heal any time throughout the night. So I don't know if I'll be working throughout the night. Just in case we do have a horde roll up and we can't exactly deal with them because of our broken leg. But we'll wait and see how the night goes. I mean, we've got enough bullets on us that if we were in a fighting position like we're in right now, we could probably just gun the whole horde down. So it could still be an option. All right, like I said, I want to leave a wee area open. This will not be permanent, though, but we're going to go ahead and we're going to start placing frames down on top of these pillars. And I'm actually going to make another 120 pillar 50 because even that 240 still doesn't even seem to be enough. So we should definitely have more than enough now. All right, we've got all the rebar in. We're going to go ahead and upgrade it all. We can upgrade the pillar 50 from the ground. But it'll be smarter to do these ones now. And yeah, just judging by how much concrete mix that we've gone through so far, I do think there is a high chance we will be heading back to the Iron Fortress before Horde Night. And we're probably going to have to stay there and just do a bit of things. Because something else that I want to do is I want to craft up a workbench a bunch of forges, chem stations, all of that good stuff to bring back here. So we may have to spend a day looting the town and going around and just wrenching a bunch of crap for mechanical parts and crafting up forges and stuff like that, checking out all the drop boxes for beakers and 
potentially re-looting the popping pills just to see if we can get some extra beakers from that. Because like I said, this base will primarily be used to cook up all of the oil shale that we're going to find from all around us. Alright, so we've got this part of the floor in. I'm just going to go ahead and upgrade this now. Alright, and so what will happen here is we're going to build up another five blocks from here, and that'll be where the top of the pyramid ends, and it'll pretty much be a pitfall trap down there. Alright, so now we can use the ladder to get back down, which is fantastic. Saves us breaking a leg. And how much concrete mix? So we're not looking too bad. Put that guy over there. We could possibly go ahead and start loading in these spikes now. And the reason I've dug a wee trench down like this is because I actually want to put these ones in upside down. Now, the best thing about Pillar 50 is obviously you can hit zombies through it and you can repair all of these spikes can be reached but not only that if one does manage to get destroyed then you can replace it from inside the base all right so i've got to be careful that i don't block myself in here and yeah guys i'd say at least through one point of construction definitely expect to see me fall in here place these down but yeah once I've got the base more finalized we'll go ahead and we'll fill those pillars in and we've got eight left so spike wise we're actually going to need maybe another 40 all right another 40 of those crafting up um yeah I think they can be upgraded too but like I said, we're not going to worry about upgrading them until we come back with our steel so we can do a full upgrade. Now, I also have the option of going around and upgrading all of these pillars. Oh, there you go. There goes one spike upgraded. The best thing about doing the kill chamber first is, one, it's going to help me line everything up a lot easier, but two, it's going to give this stuff a lot more time to dry. Now... A bug that is in the game, and I'm sure everybody has experienced it, is sometimes your concrete will stay wet for weeks. Now this has actually just happened to me in my main world. There's a certain video that I was working on. You guys will see that at some point soon. But yes, the base that I've built is just wet and I can't seem to get it to dry. I do remember having the same issue when I built my main base, but um, I left it and couldn't even tell you how long but after some long amount of time it all eventually managed to dry but usually with concrete it'll, it'll either dry within a day or you can go ahead and you can pause your game you can leave it sitting there for 30 minutes to an hour and then when you unpause everything will dry right before your eyes but um once we have the base fully constructed all of these pillar 50 inside of the base, these will all be getting upgraded to steel. So when we do get back to the iron fortress, we've got to make sure that we've got steel crafting in bulk. We've got our iron bars crafting because we are going to need a lot of them as well. And I'd also like to return with a bunch of workstations. Now the problem with the workstations is none of them stacks. So if I was to go ahead and craft up what do we need i think we need 32 forges for this base it could even be more because it was off by a little bit when i built it and we're also going to need i don't even know how many chem stations maybe eight maybe 12 all depends on how much we can build he's finally making his way over no he's not and what's the time? All right, so it's getting pretty close to night time. But I would love to get this other side in. So if you guys could picture this here, on this side here. Because inside, this will be our base. We will have to have walls that come out right here. Because we do need that structural support pretty much in the middle of here. And that needs to run the whole way around the pyramid. 
because as you guys can imagine by how many frames went into the floor how many blocks are actually going to be in the entire build all right 172 for pillar 50 we're actually going to go ahead and we're going to start placing these down as well all right survivors and it is officially night time so you know what that means i think we're going to be building throughout the night And providing we don't have a huge wandering horde, then we shouldn't have too many problems. But yeah, I'd like to get as much of this base built as possible. It is uh, very tedious placing these Pillar 50. Now personally, I'm not a massive fan of them, although they are really good. But um, as you guys all know, I prefer the pole and wedge tip trick. But Pillar 50 works just as well. There will be times where you will hit the pillars, but it's all good. They can definitely take beating, especially if you upgrade them to steel. Right, we've actually just run out of more pillars. and I think we just placed about 160 of them. So that's pretty crazy. I think we're going to need maybe another 50. But we're also running quite low on concrete mix and once we're out of concrete mix then uh there is nothing else that we can really do to the base well those are crafting though i might go ahead and start placing down this rebar all right and there goes that side finished still haven't seen any locals which is bloody fantastic and now we're going to go ahead and we're going to fill in this part of the roof Now, when I first initially built this, um, this area that I'm covering up here was only two blocks wide. And what I actually done was I put ramps back to back. So if zombies fell onto this initial part here, they'd end up running down into the spikes. But with it being three blocks wide, that's not necessarily going to work. So I'm thinking that I might have to place maybe some spikes here. And then over here, we leave an access window to where... If they take too much damage we can repair them or replace them or if we do manage to get zombies stuck up there then we can um we can deal with them from in here but you guys will understand a bit more once i've built a bit more of the base so i'm just going to go ahead and keep cracking on into it after today's episode i can clearly say that this will not be finished by the next horde night but it will 100 percent be done by the horde night following and we will definitely be testing it out. We'll be moving a bunch of stuff here. It's going to take a while to get the tunnels dug out. But once we can link them up underground, it's going to be so much easier to maneuver between each base. It'll be a lot easier to move supplies during the night as well. If we need to bring anything over here. Alright, is that all of that? Beautiful. Now we have the fun task of upgrading all of this and we are down to our last three and a half thousand concrete mix. So here, like I said, there's definitely not a lot of resources left. We will have to make a trip back to the Iron Fortress. I think that part is inevitable. Alright, beautiful. So this room that we're standing in right now, this is going to be where all of our forges go. Now, originally, I did have this entire area here blocked off because pretty much from here and here, this is going to be walls that run all the way up to the top. But in here, this is where zombies will be able to land. And being four blocks wide, I'm not, not so confident about how I feel about that. Now, I could always knock these out and maybe place wedge tips there that might help but i'm not too sure because yeah we don't want five blocks wide that's a bit too wide for zombies just to be chilling out on they'll probably end up causing quite a lot of damage see i'm just thinking even three wide here that might be the move i'm not actually too sure ah and that one's just dried 
9,000 hit points. Do I dare to knock them out? 400 gas? I don't even think that's going to be enough. I tell you what, I'll deal with that part afterwards. For now, we're just going to go ahead and we're going to place the rest of these frames in. And this room that we're doing here, this is, as I mentioned, this is where all, the, all of the forges will go. And this one's going to be five blocks high as well. But it is one o'clock in the morning. And I do think we're probably going to have to keep today's episode just a bit short because inevitably we ran out of resources. So there's not a lot else that I can do while I'm here. So maybe in the next episode we head back to the Iron Fortress and we work on looting stuff for workbenches and we get the rest of our resources ready. I suppose even then, well yeah, we could do that. We could drive a bunch of resources over here, do a little bit more building before Horde Night, back to the Iron Fortress, deal with the Horde, and then we can bring the last lot of supplies over and we should be pretty good from there. So yeah, like I said, this here will be five blocks high. But I do have the option of placing Pillar 50 in here. And that way if zombies do land here and they decide they want to break their way in here, we can go ahead and deal with them while they're up there. And I feel like it would be a bit nicer with just three. Like I said, in the initial design, every single wall here was covered in forges. But the only thing is, is I only had one layer of forges. They weren't stacked at all. So we could go ahead and stack them and possibly end up with a lot more than I initially planned on. So yeah, I think that might be the plan. How much frames? Ugh, that. We don't even have frames on us. Well, there's only one thing we can do now. Smash back that beer. Get down there and get those bloody frames. I've seen a zombie around here before, but luck if I know where he went. He's probably waiting to ambush me. That would not surprise me. Grab a couple ramps just in case. All right, we should be good to go from here. So yeah, as you can see, we've made quite a lot of progress on the kill chamber. We do have to fill these parts in, but that's all good. And I do need to upgrade these blocks here. So while we're clear there's uh no zombies around i might as well go ahead and start upgrading these now because we're day 81 at the moment and the next horde night is day 84 so it's not too long away so yeah we'll have to make a judgment when we get back to the iron fortress but like i said we uh ran out of resources pretty much once these are all upgraded we've got two and a half thousand cement mix left concrete mix which definitely isn't enough really to get anything done. Not around here anyway. But we still have plenty of resources back at base. And look at that, we managed to hit construction tools 94. So after upgrading well over 2,000 blocks, we got about three levels. Now a long time ago, somebody asked me if I thought it was... If you get more XP from upgrading steel and concrete opposed to wood. And I have done a little bit of testing with this in creative mode. And from what I could tell, the XP that you gain from upgrading blocks is the same. So if you were building a ginormous base out of wood and you upgraded every piece of wood to reinforce wood, you get the exact same amount of XP as doing concrete to reinforce concrete. Alright, so not long to go before the end of the episode. I would like to get those spikes in too. Just so we do have the kill chamber pretty much complete. As complete as it could be without uh, locking it off. Because yeah, I can almost guarantee you guys oh, I will fall in there. Now hopefully when we do have the base fully constructed, I don't end up falling in there because that would suck. Alright, how are we looking there? Alright, we're looking pretty good. Get rid of those. Grab out our spikes. I'm going to go ahead and place these down too. Now, one of the reasons that I've decided to use the upside down spikes is because at the Iron Fortress, we have the normal spikes sticking up. Now, the thing with these is, is because they are a block high, when zombies are standing on them, sometimes it can be a bit buggy to hit them. Sometimes you hit your spikes. 
This way it keeps them extremely leveled, it's a lot easier to hit them, it can be easier to do your repairs, but most importantly, it can be easier to grab out the loot. To dispose of gore blocks, because they're just sitting there nice and flat. And as you guys know, we're trying to do something different with, with each base that we build, and that is one of the reasons why we're going with Pillar 50 and the upside down spikes in this base in particular. Alright, so this here, this is going to be my staircase down pretty much. So I'm just going to pop that there, perfect. And we're going to keep going around, and we're going to keep placing down these frames. See how many I can get down before the morning starts. But yeah, to give you guys a fair idea of the height of this base, this room that we're building is five blocks high there will be one more room on top of this that is five blocks high now pretty much where we're standing well we're four blocks up so once we place the next layer down that is where the top of the pyramid will end so this is where zombies zombies will be running up the pyramid to this height and then there'll be another room on top which will be an alternative fighting position for us all right so that there should be five blocks tall just going to jump off, I'm going to pick up these frames. Four blocks up there, and we'll see if we can get this side in too. So the time is getting on, but it doesn't matter if we go an hour or so over. Just providing we get this part of the base finished. Alright, this is one of the places where I've got to be careful that I don't uh, walk backwards and fall onto the spikes. Especially from this height with a broken leg, that probably won't turn out too well for us. Alright, one more. Alright, there goes that morning sun. Now, I would have liked to get as many of these upgraded as I could have. We've got only got 1,000 cement mix left, and I wouldn't have mind building the uh, next ladder up, actually. And we are going to have spikes there, so I would have liked to put one more layer there. But um, with the spikes, say if we had a feral fall on there, then um, we don't want them whacking the top block. And the other thing that I've got to do is one. I right, didn't really think this one out. Uh, I'm going to have to fall. God damn it. And five. Come on. Can we fall from here? Perfect. And it's going to be the same deal here. We're going to have the round of blocks in the corners. So that one can go right there. And there and there. Then we'll have rounder blocks in all of these corners. I'm going to go ahead and upgrade this now. Since we have no reason not to. This is going to help get rid of the rest of that concrete mix that we have. And then what are we left with? 800. Alright, so... Just before we end this episode off, I want to see, can we make another 16 of these? Oh, perfect. Uh, what about a ladder then? Can we get five of these? Beautiful. Alright guys, well we might as well go ahead and finish this part off at least, and then we will end off the episode. So yeah, like I said, we're going to have to go five blocks high around the entire outside. And this will leave the kill chamber down there. And yeah, then we have the fun task of pretty much setting up. There'll be quite there'll be a wall that goes around the outside. Might come in by about three blocks. And then hopefully that'll provide enough stability. And then right in the middle, there'll be another wall just to add to that stability. Alright, so we're going to get these rounder blocks in. Alright, we're going to go ahead and upgrade these. Now, 
I did want this central piece here to be a bit smaller in the foreground because there is not going to be a lot of room in between here. But for the purpose of keeping everything symmetrical and the same as it is down there, we're just going to use the same design. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to pop these ladders in. And we're going to climb up here quickly. And then, yeah, what we're pretty much going to do is we're going to connect all of these together. We're not going to do it right now because I'd like to upgrade that top layer first and sort of decide what I'm going to do down there. But yeah, guys, I think it's time for us to grab some breakfast. Oh, yeah, what have we got going on over here? Look at that, they come to greet us right at the end of the episode. Good morning, motherfucker. Oh, oh, yeah, they're still spawning in. Here they come. Oh, well. Would it be a random Gen Let's Play episode if we did an end off with a wandering horde? Is that it? Yeah, it looks about it. Nice and small horde. Nothing too crazy. These two. Oh shit, we'll get dealt with. Alright, problem solved. Any stragglers? Nah, I think we're looking pretty good. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to clean this crap up. Actually found a bit of shorts from that guy. A pair of shorts, so they may come in handy. Especially building in the desert, that is something um, we end up living at this base and spending... A majority of our time here then we will have to reorganize our gear that we use just to uh, prevent ourselves from overheating all the time last zombie all right bunch of fuck all but yeah guys as the sun comes up that means our time is up i hope you all enjoyed the episode and if you're new to the channel don't forget to like and subscribe for more Gonzo content. But as always, stay safe out there survivors, and I'll see you in the next one.